well hello everybody so today I decided to do a little discussion regarding what uh, was uh, discussed today at the conference and I thought it was actually very telling and um, and and I was very impressed you know with with the uh, president's um, new plan uh, for austerity and uh, you know what he's doing uh, in order to fight corruption actually um, it's quite impressive I I was actually very surprised um, uh, at what they decided to do and you're gonna be surprised too um, well no you already saw the title but in any case <laughs> it is it actually is quite impressive um, what they've come up with uh, in order to um, really combat crime at its core from the inside and so one of the things that they're doing is that they've started a new whistleblowers program <laughs> and um, uh, let me see I've got a transition here sorry okay um, so in this whistleblowers uh, program um, they, they give uh, a website uh, and so any employee anywhere uh, can uh, uh, you know notify the government uh, via this um, uh, website address that's up there um, as to something that's going on at work that or or in any in any place actually but the the reason I say at work is because that was the biggest concern is that someone worked somewhere and they knew something was happening it was almost making them feel like they were doing a crime of omission by not telling and so uh, people were were um, want to tell, but on the other hand, they they were at risk of losing their jobs because really there was nothing set in place to protect them. So um, they uh, took a little bit of this and a little bit of that from all the different countries' uh, programs, and uh, they started a um, uh, whistleblowers program, which. Um, it's actually quite impressive and they put they outline it in a way that uh, people can see um, uh, how um, how it works so that the common man can uh, get a chance to uh, participate and and feel comfortable with knowing that that uh, if he says something you know uh, that that it will be it will come to to um, it'll come to fruition but in any case let me go ahead and uh, start the video and then uh, I'll share with you some of the uh, uh, little pics that I took from the video uh, itself so let me go ahead and start right here all right so let's see let's go to the beginning right about you could see him come in okay right about here okay we'll start right about there okay so he starts right off letting you know what's the plan okay so first thing as he's going to inform first and to start this circular dialogue, right? Same purpose as usual. Regarding what's happening with the government and the republic. Um, okay, so I'm gonna speed it up now because, so here, uh, so n they're asking for people to help to end corruption. So they want to unearth uh, corruption. And it's very important to participate. Uh, well, for citizens to participate. And it's not a simulation. OK, so that's very important. He's trying to wake up the people. And so this is regarding the Chinese-Mexican uh, 
uh, property, there, there was some legal action that where they were trying to stop the uh, proceedings. In other words, they were trying to uh, uh, have a suspension of sale, cessation, adjournment, uh, curtailment, reprieve, <laughs> or <laughs> legal protection. But he says, no, we are going to proceed, but we're not violating any law. And so, so they're going to give you all the information. So it, they continue the program, the plan as it was. So now, come rain or shine, or thunder, he says, uh, they're going to go ahead with the plan. Okay, so then he lets um, this, uh, um, oh, well, he talks about here about what the intentions is for the money is to give uh, the the proceeds from the uh, sale of the uh, property, especially that uh, big house, which they expect to be about a, it's about worth about a hundred million pesos, and they want to sell it for about a hundred and fifty million pesos, because they they plan on giving it to the uh, medal winners and the. Uh, Olympians that are uh, right now in uh, Peru uh, in the Panamanian uh, Pan American Games and so he's so he's talking about how that money that now they're complaining about the sale of this house but they already took over 200 uh, million pesos and they you know shared it and spent uh, spread it amongst themselves and uh, they didn't really nothing's visible that they did or that they said they did with that money um, you know they said oh we gave some to legal departments some to the health department some I don't remember which three departments but anyway none of it had any had anything to show for it so here's this lady and she's the one who uh, is in charge of this program So she's in charge of the new whistleblowers uh, program. So we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, other uh, site. So whistleblowers. Um, so it's something that that they've been that they haven't had in effect for over uh, 200. I'm sorry, two decades. So. So in every one of these areas, they should have had protection for people who informed about internal, you know, uh, accusations or information, but now we have it. So now it complies with three main areas. So she says, go ahead and go to this. Um, let's see if I've got this on mine. Um, it's this one here. So she says that in Mexico, the first thing they lost was their jobs, and now they're going to reinforce uh, the protection, a, a civic uh, warranties or guarantees of protection, um, and they've got uh, this other um, one. It's it's a it's a uh, one that's um, designed to stop people. Uh, that's designed to um, uh, alert. So it's a website for whistleblowers that, that they've set up. And and so now they reformed. Um, let me turn that off for a second so you could see. So they, uh, they're using the best practices internationally um, in order to... Um, European uh, countries and, and they announced in the past uh, with the company of UNDC. So anyway, they've set up this whistleblowers program. So let me pause that there. Um, so let me show you the um, slides. So this one here, it says that they've got um, they're combating corruption. So this is, 
you know how they ke he keeps saying in all the um, conferences, we got to fight corruption, we got to fight corruption, that's the main problem. Well, this is a very important step in that fight because now the people that, can, that will be able to let them know what's happening because, of course, it's all hidden. Uh, they, they're not doing it all out in the open. Uh, especially now that they know that um, the government doesn't tolerate uh, uh, corruption and they have no impunity, so of course it's hidden. But the people that are inside those departments, they can now tell. They can let somebody know uh, what's going on on the inside and uh, they'll have protection, whether they're an internal or external employee or someone you know, on the outside that lets them know what's happening. They just want people to let them know and then they can investigate. So it's not like they're gonna do something to somebody immediately. They'll take it to the uh, legal uh, areas and uh, so they're gonna, um, you know, if you, they can't affect your career, they can't, um, uh, you know, uh, do anything to attack you. And, you know, it's, it's a, here, in number five it says, uh, austerity, uh, Republican austerity and evaluation of uh, public uh, gestures. So um, th this whole thing, I mean, it's uh, outlined and there is a website which I put on the front, on the face of this and, and they already showed. Um, let me see, let me go to the next slide. So the system uh, of alerts, um, uh, internal and exter uh, exterior or external um, regarding corruption, it guarantees confidentiality of the information. So yes, you because you can't just do it anonymously, so they can come forward and it'll be kept confidential and all they can do, you know, they can give their information confidentially. And it'll be accompanied by protection. That's what this number two part is. And uh, those that are uh, uh, alerting are going to, uh, you know, uh, they can monitor to see what's happening uh, with what uh, what they said. And then auspicia de proactividad means that they will assign somebody uh, to work on it effectively, not just, you know, they, they uh, let somebody know and nobody does anything about it and it's like you did nothing because it's a hard uh, thing to do. You know, you, you always feel uh, a sense of fear when you uh, let someone know of something that's occurring. It, it's a scary situation. And then if they do nothing about it, it was, you know, not worth it. But so they, they will definitely follow up. That's just another part of maintaining, you know, uh, a corruption under control. And then there's um, uh, the citizens, uh, it says grave acts of corruption. Uh, like if they're uh, diverting our public resources or funds, or if they're abusing their post, or if they're um, uh, coercing or, or um, abusing in any way, violations against human rights or uh, sexual, um, you know, innuendo or, or accusations, you know, things, things that have to do with like uh, sexual discrimination or attacks or anything like that, uh, where they threaten you with uh, sexual, um, you know, repri reprisals or whatever. Um, but anyway, that's another one that they're protecting with. And uh, so, so far, um, it looks like they did it uh, for the for the this has been for the first 12 days they put this out for 12 days 172 alerts of corruption have already come through so you guys that you're doing corrupt acts you better stop because someone is going to tell on you now um, you know who you are <laughs> but anyway so yeah there's there's quite a bit there um, uh, let's see it says the blue area is uh, in the state, the red area is municipal, and let's see, uh, let's see, so I can't really read the little one. Uh, oh, the, the yellow part is without information. They, they, they haven't said where it's at. 
Uh, so there's federal, municipal, and state uh, in those areas that, that, you know, the piece of the pie. So it looks like federal is the biggest part, as you can see. And then next is, uh, this is the same one, but this says it started in July, uh, July 25th uh, to the 5th of August. This is how much they had. So it, it's quite a, a nice chunk of uh, information, and that's just in 12 days. Can you imagine how much they're going to find? So this is uh, the website that you would go to uh, to let people know uh, or to alert the government as to someone who's doing corrupt acts that fall into the categories that they named before. Um, and they will definitely pursue them and they've assigned uh, a team to, um, you know, they're, they're going to put, put it uh, full force and find out and they're trying to weed out corruption they're trying to unearth it they're trying to um, handle it and make sure that that the government is clean free of of corruption and and the government uh, not just the government but also the people he's trying to lead by example showing them this is how it's supposed to be done. Maybe you guys forgot because you've been getting so many bad uh, examples from our previous uh, presidents. You know, because one of the things he said at one of the uh, uh, conferences was that, you know, these people that were doing these acts of uh, corruption, you know, they weren't even uh, publicly denounced. People thought they were cool. They thought it was cool to steal. They said, oh, I can't wait to become president or a high-functioning political official so I can steal, steal, you know, open-handed, uh, you know, just steal away. <laughs> and um, and it's just a shame that that, uh, <coughs> that they, they got away with all that, you know? That's just incredible that they would do that. Um, Anyway, so let's see the next slide here. So this is what the title of today's um, uh, uh, conference was. Uh, we are not going to occupy uh, with charges. We're going to transform the country. So, you know, they're, they're saying, you know, we're going to take care of it. We're going to get down to business. And... Uh, and then here is another um, area which, let me see, what area was that? Um, this is, uh, let me go to the next section here. So this is where the president is showing what his budget is. Okay. Because um, they had a question regarding that. Um, they're saying, you know, they, they were comparing him to the previous government. And he's like, whoa, don't compare me with them. We're not the same. Because um, they were talking something about the budget. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and let him talk, and then that way it'll remind me of what he said, okay? Uh, so let me go ahead and remove the slideshow for a minute. Hold on. Um, let's see here. Mm, we're going to this one or this one. Okay. Uh, there we go. And we'll go to this one. All right. And let's see. So he says they thought, oh, we have it. We have evidence. They're all the same. Hey, my cousins. We're not all the same. <laughs> That's funny when he says cousins, first cousin. He says they're so they know so well, but they act like they don't know. Some of them act like they don't know because they've got financial interests because they lost their privileges, and they were getting a lot of money from the government to cover up for them, and the other ones had ideologies or, or they were conservatives themselves. So he knows that they've been, and some of them, he said both things. They had interests 
you know, they were getting financial gain and they had, um, they're conservatives as well. So it's clear and you can look at it. So here's the slide. And um, he says, look at this, amplify it. So we can uh, look at that. Uh, so let me go ahead and let you see the one I have here. Um, so he's, you know, he's basically putting it out there. He's total transparency. Uh, the, the expense report, look at that. Um, check this out. He's letting you see what the money was spent on. He says they didn't used to do that. They never told you what the money was spent on and, you know, how much of the budget went to what or anything. He said they just said, well, we spent this much. Uh, <laughs> too bad, so sad for you. <laughs> and if they made any cuts, they made it on the, on the, on the working man, on the poor people. They said, well, we're going to have to tighten up our belts. And they'd cut some more of the benefits or income on the, on the people uh, that were earning the least already. It was ridiculous. But anyway, so this is um, just to, so you can see the total transparency. He says exactly, he lets you see, he'll put it out there every little bit. What he spends, uh, how much is spent on this, what personal service, what are materials. You know, it's, it's all out there. And let's see, let's look at another slide. Um, oh, I don't have my slides up right now, hold on. Let's go back to this one. I think this one has the slides, let's see. Okay, anyway, let's go on with that one. So that used to be considered a national expense and they only informed you of the total expense. No. Not, they didn't let you know the whole thing or the expense uh, specifically. That was not disclosed. So here you can see, see there's how much he spent uh, or how much they've spent on what things. So see, he says it's an opportunity to revindicate the politics of austerity. In other words, not living high on the hog on the on the people's money. Anything you save. And if you stop wasting money, there's no need to, to raise taxes or to increase tax prices. The budget is enough. Isn't that something? Wow. You guys, we need somebody to think like that here in the U.S. That's thinking that... Um, it's different than what was applied in the neoliberal period, that's for sure, because basically they affected the workers, that's what I was saying. It had nothing to, this has to do with the luxury items that the government was, you know, living high on the hog, or excessive spending. So he put it out there. That's that's something I found pretty impressive. So the next part um, I'm going to go into um, is, let's see. Mm, we're talking 30, okay, I had 37.56, so let's go to 37.56. Okay, so this is where he talks about, so this is where he's going to give them um, additional uh, funds to the sports um, people and they're going to get additional resources for the trainers um, they're going to have their stimulus and 
he's going to have them informed regarding that matter. Uh, let's see, where's my uh, uh, slideshow here? I wanted you to see the other slide. Oh, there's the slideshow. Okay, let's move that to the top. Okay, oh, not quite so high, a little lower. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe a little lower than that. Okay, so let's see. We're going to open that up. So now this is the part where they're talking about the sale of uh, stolen goods uh, being returned to the people. Okay, so let's see if I can get my slideshow to work now. Mm -hmm. Okay, whoa, where'd I go? The overlay went above the cam. Okay, um... All right, um, so we want to go to the, um, what is it called, the, there's a thing here where I had my slideshow, let's see, and I thought it was here, let's see, oh, there it is, okay, slideshow, okay, and that is it, maybe that's the last one on it. No. Okay. I know I have more pictures than that. Mm. Okay. Definitely more. Definitely. Okay. So I think I need to turn off something here. Maybe this one. And... sure where my um, slideshow went so let me just add it in again I'm sorry guys I just have to add the slideshow back in give me a moment okay add existing. okay okay so there's my slideshow so let's see why are they not moving it's like they're being covered by something Well, it's not working. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you see what we've got here. So he's got, um, this is, they tried to stop the sale of the property um, of the uh, auction. And um, let me see, move this over to the right a little. And make it a little smaller. Sorry about that, guys. I have to make this small enough for you to be able to read it, okay? There we go. Okay, so this is where um, uh, it says on, on the tw uh, 31st of July, they presented a, a request to uh, have a, a adjournment, cessation, curtailment, whatever you want to call it, a reprieve so that his property would not be sold. But remember, this happened back in 2007, right here, March uh, 2007. And they would have had to have done this um, uh, request within, I believe it's 90 days. So he uh, had from here to here, when he found out that they were planning on selling the property or taking over the property uh, from the 7th, uh, from July 19, 2007 to November, he could have uh, done this uh, stay or request to to uh, protect or, you know, whatever you want to call it, cessation, adjournment, um, something, you know, to hold the, the sale. But in the meantime, all, all his other uh, property has been sold. And this is the only thing they found that was left from the 200 million that uh, were taken by the government. And it is believed um, because there is no evidence of what they said they spent the money on. It doesn't look like uh, any of the things that they said they spent the money on uh, were done.
So it looks like this is all that's left of the 200 million that the previous um, government, Calderon, it wasn't this uh, six year term, it was the previous one. But uh, basically they, they took the money and ran with it. So this is all that's left. And so they were trying to uh, keep them from uh, you know, moving forth with this money that was gonna go to the athletes because they're always trying to block anything good that he tries to do uh, because it makes them look bad. But um, so this is you know, the time that they had. So this is the reason why they're not going to uh, uh, honor the stay, the request for a stay or, or uh, pr legal protection uh, to stop the sale and all that. No, no, it's gonna happen. So if you guys are interested in buying a gorgeous mansion, gorgeous mansion in, it's got an inside pool. Oh my gosh, it is a gorgeous mansion. If, if you get the opportunity, uh, I think you can go online and see pictures. Um, in fact, they've had it on some of the previous uh, um, uh, conferences. They showed some of the pictures. Gorgeous, gorgeous home. Anyway, um, so they're saying that, that it, it doesn't meet the le uh, legal, they didn't meet the legal criteria to, ho uh, to make the stay uh, hold <coughs> the sale. So um, they're going to go ahead with it. So that's one thing. So let's see what else. Uh, there was another slide they had that was uh, interesting uh, regarding this. So here's another one. So here's another one. So they were trying to use some kind of uh, legal strategy just to, to stop the sale. Plus, they also added things on there that made it uh, not a good, uh, you know, uh, legal precedent or they, they weren't actually, um, they didn't, that they didn't inform that, that the house was actually abandoned. They stopped paying on it, of course, and they abandoned it. So they had no right anymore. It's like it was repoed. It was no longer theirs to try and hold. Uh, so they're, they don't even put that in the uh, documentation. Uh, so that's another uh, thing. So they're saying, you know, no, we're not going to hold the sale. This is just a, a strategic move by the opposers of our government. Uh, the ones that uh, were, were in power before and they're trying to get back in. And they're always trying to do something to uh, cause problems <laughs> for AMLO. It's never ending. He says they do it one day and then the next day also. <laughs> There's no break from their attacks. It's actually kind of funny the way he says it. So it was abandoned in November 27. Another. So they're saying also the other, all the other goods uh, and property were already sold and uh, you know taken. So this is uh, the thing is where they're outlining that uh, they uh, held the uh, you know the. The district uh, judge, they 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 went to see him, and the uh, uh, attorneys uh, tried to realize some kind of st legal strategy, but um, their object was just to stop the sale. Um, the the uh, actions uh, were notoriously um, done, and that that the uh, real estate has been abandoned since uh, November 2007, and that there exists other goods or uh, properties that were already sold and nobody put any kind of a, a hold or, or legal protection on any of the other things. Uh, and, you know, there was 181 million pesos in 2014, uh, something, another estate that was sold. So they, they said all of a sudden now they're trying to put a stay on this. Uh, yeah, we don't think so. We're going through with the <laughs> with the sale. So that's that was kind of interesting. So anyway, uh, that's that. Let's see what else they talked. There were so many good things today. So here's a good matter of hold on. 
Okay, so here he's talking about where did the money go of the 200 million it was given to this one and that one and those things that they said they spent it on things like hospitals. There's no hospitals that were built. Everything was left half done. They just took the money and ran. Uh, let me see if there's anything else. But in any case, that was the gist of it today. I just thought I'd share with you guys um, some of the little details. If you want to see the whole thing, uh, it's on Facebook, uh, it's on YouTube, and uh, just look for Presidente Conferencia. Uh, you know, uh, if you speak Spanish, you can find it on YouTube. Also, if you want to see it in English, just go to AMLO Vision, uh, spelled A M L O. Uh, all caps and then a capital V and then ISION with a hyphen in between. And uh, you can see any of the uh, conferences that I've translated uh, into uh, English. And, um, and then also I have a few other videos where I did some interviews with some people from uh, other countries because everybody's paying attention to AMLO. And you know, nowadays, uh, my saying is, I wish you an AMLO. I wish all of you, all, all the countries could have someone like AMLO to rid their countries of corruption and make sure that the people, the poor people, um, can have a, a chance at life. You know, a chance to even have the very basic necessities, which is what he's done. Uh, he's given jobs to uh, the indigenous people. He started with a, his plan is to start with the poorest people on the outskirts because all the money was concentrated in the center, which was right there in Mexico, the center of Mexico, the capital, kind of like our Washington DC, DC but it's Mexico, the um, uh, EFE, you know, Distrito Federal, the federal district. So um, anyway, so all the money was kept in, in the center and the outskirts, as, they, as you got further out, they got less. And on the very outskirts, some of them have no electricity, uh, no um, the streets, no water. They have to go get buckets like the old days. Uh, no, of course, no drainage. Um, they had, uh, well, no electricity, no internet, right? Um, so they, a lot of them don't even have a clue what's happening, except for the fact that he actually travels Every day after the conference, he is traveling throughout the whole country, seeing what's going on around the world. And he's making sure that, uh, that the, the people are, are, are being attended to. He's making sure that the, that the money that he uh, has told them is gonna go to the people, that it actually get to go to the people. Because what was happening before was they would promise money to the people and it never got to them. The, they would uh, basically uh, take the money and keep it, you know, and, and uh, the people, you know, that were supposed to get the money never got it. And so um, the, the corrupt officials were just getting richer. And so, of course, for them, this was like, ah, tragedy. All their fountain of money has stopped. But, you know, now the poor people are very happy because now they are uh, getting, for example, I don't know if you guys know about the road making program, but what he did was in order to uh, do a job stimulus, he uh, gives money uh, and the materials like cement, uh, mixers, uh, wheelbarrows, shovels, things like that uh, to all the indigenous populations where there's no roads and they're getting, uh, and they've already built like 50 roads and you guys have got to see how gorgeous, how gorgeous these roads are. They're beautiful, they're a work of art. They have like uh, rows of rocks in the middle and they look almost like the Italian beautiful roads that they used to make in the days of old because it's these artisans, these people that, that, that were building um, uh, what do you call them? Pyramids. There's pyramids there. You guys, there's going to be things in Mexico that now you're going to be able to see the pyramids in the old lands that people had no access to because there was no roads. Now they've made roads. It's going to uh, be a stimulus for um, people to, to, to be able to get things in and out. Uh, 
you know, for for travel, for for all these. Oh, there was another thing he talked about, which was really interesting, was the thing about the Maya train. There's like this whole group of people that have no clue. Um, you know, they're being uh, moved by uh, ex-president Calderon uh, to fight against the Maya train because it makes him look bad because they were supposed to have built it and they just took the money and ran again. So, but there, there's an old uh, railway that runs through this uh, area and these people are, are you know, uh, complaining, oh my God, they're going to put a railway, they're going to destroy our forest, they're going to destroy our land, they're going to come in and, and uh, it's going to be an environmental impact. But you know what? There is already a railway there. Nothing is going to be affected. There is no environmental impact study that needs to be done. It's already existing. That's how poorly informed they are. And Calderon has been taking advantage of this and riling up the masses to, to get them uh, angry and agitated and so that they'll fight the president whenever he tries to help them because he's trying to get them a train to go through the area so that they can uh, be able to transport their goods and be able to sell and, and uh, propel the economy to get better. And they have no clue. So today he mentioned it. And, and you know, another thing that's very uh, important is that he um, is going to use the existing electrical lines uh, with the electric company. And they're going to be putting, um, uh, what is that, that uh, optic, uh, fiber optics. Uh, and uh, they're going to be putting dishes, uh, satellite dishes everywhere. And so they're going to, uh, he's shooting for 100% uh, internet access for everyone in Mexico. And so there are uh, areas in Mexico that still don't even have electricity. So those are going to be a challenge because I think there's like 25%, 25% that don't even have electricity yet. So those, they're going to have to put the electrical lines in order to get the um uh, internet to them, but it's going to be like a minimal, minimal cost, uh, just what it costs to, to build, you know, the increase the system, um, and they're going to divide it amongst everybody, so it'll be a very small amount that they have to pay, and in some cases, if they're very impoverished, it'll be free for them, uh, but in any case, everyone will have inter internet, and they'll have the the option to, to be educated and to learn about what's going on in the world. Can you imagine? They don't even know about the internet. Some of them don't have phones, internet, uh, electricity, running water. That's how bad it's been over there. And, uh, you know, the rich people were living in the lap of luxury. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the video of the uh, opulence that was the Los Pinos Castle, uh, which is, you know, like the White House, you know, comparable to the White House, only like 18 times bigger <laughs> and, and more opulent. Um, but they also had uh, uh, th like all these uh, cars and, and really cool things. And guess what? Now it's free to the public. You can go without an appointment. Anyone can go through. Uh, AMLO made it a free attraction, like a state attraction. Uh, so that uh, anybody can go and see what what the um, presidents were living like while the people, some of them don't even have toilets or toilet paper or electricity or water or, you know, all the things I said before. Uh, ridiculous amounts of uh, wealth that they were living in in opulence. I mean, it's funny, if you ever get the opportunity to see the kinetic cannons, uh, they have this video called... Um, What's it called? Uh, oh, Los Pinos Castle. And it's these two young white people and they're going through, they're going, oh my God. And so that just kind of lets you know, you know, the Mexican people are seen as these poor, impoverished people because a lot of the population is, but the rich ones, just like here, you know, we have our Beverly Hills mansions and all that. In Mexico, there is an, there is a group of these uh, corrupt <laughs> and elite. Well, let's just say there's not, they're, not all of them are corrupt, but there's a great number of, of um, wealthy individuals that have humongous, beautiful, outrageously gorgeous uh, homes. 
uh, whereas the rest of the population is living in poverty. In poverty. Anyway, I'm going to get off my, uh, <laughs> uh, what do they call it, my soapbox. Uh, but I do want to say, you guys need to pay attention to what's going on because um, the government hasn't been giving us um, what we've got coming. Uh, Mexico is giving uh, education now, free education with uh, grants for all the students. They're giving uh, incentive programs. They're giving, um, uh, they, they're creating jobs. They have like given a million jobs to the young people. Uh, they're doing jobs, uh, planting trees, creating life. Um, they're, they've got students in these programs as apprentices and, and they get paid like if they were working and so the employer can hire as many as he wants and train them and, uh, and they get paid by the government to train and he has to train them. Uh, so it's a win-win situation uh, and it keeps them off the streets and out of the hands of, of corrupt uh, you know, gangs and, and uh, uh, drug trafficking and all the uh, uh, illicit behavior you know, that, that is antisocial. That's the whole thing is, you know, keeping them from antisocial behavior and give them uh, an opportunity in life. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, I better drink something. Hold on. <coughs> okay, I better go because I'm going to have a cough attack. Bye.